Thank you, everyone, for, uh, for uh, joining the presentation. I gather there's some people online as well. Uh, I founded this company in uh, 2011. Uh, at the moment, I'm still the present CEO. So I'll tell you a little bit about the company. An insure tech company is a company that focuses on technologies in the insurance industry. So that's our big focus. And benefit processing is the area that we're focused on in, uh, in that business. In Canada, that's uh, about an $80 billion market, and it's close to a trillion dollar market in the US, mostly employee benefit areas. This is if I uh, tell you any lies, you can't see it. Here's a few reasons to invest. We have a strong recurring revenue model. Today, we have over 470 million of managed service contracts, some of them are as long as nine years. We have 530,000 plan members. Over, that's over a billion three in premium. We have another 800,000 in our pipeline, which we expect to sign sometime this month. And on top of that, we have another 1.2 billion that we think we will make a lot of progress with in uh, this year, 2022. Today, over 80% of every new gross margin dollar goes to our bottom line. We've had eight consecutive quarters of positive adjusted EBITDA. Yeah. So most of our CapEx is over. We spent over 60 million on our uh, software and solutions and client acquisition. So most of that, those dollars are over. And we're at that inflection point of growth. We expect this EBITDA increase by just 10 times over the next few years. That 800,000 plan members that we see, uh, that we expect to sign in the next month or so, uh, will be a big, uh, big part of that. It's a large recurring market. The processing side of that $80 billion in Canada is over $8 billion. That grows 4 to 5% a year, regardless of what the economy looks like. We've had a pretty successful sales strategy in 2021. We won over 205 million in new contracts, all multi year contracts. Our win rate's been over 65% on our bids. Most of our business, we win competitive business. We have a pretty unique competitive advantage. We're targeting the emerging market as a growth area. That's clients with under 500 employees. We have a very unique channel partner model that will double our partnership, uh, our partner's profitabilities. We have over 150 highly sophisticated name brand clients, which we'll speak to. So just to sum up, I found the company in 2011, management still owns 40%, I'm the largest shareholder. We have over 600 people. We operate in 11 locations globally, including India and Middle East. We, our sales last year was 63 million. We're over 90%. Uh, booked, we're 74 million this year. Our year end is November. Uh, backlog, as I said, is over 470 million, so we're 205 million in contracts in the last year. We expect to win as much this year. Uh, over 90% of our business is insurance, government, healthcare, e commerce. We've got over a billion three. When we add the 800,000, we'll have 3.3 billion of premium under administration. Over 150 active clients and some major channel partners, including like Microsoft, Telesel, one of the largest cell phone companies in Canada, Raytheon, Aon, cooperators. This industry is demanding change. It's an industry that's been dominated by the insurers for a long time, including the technologies. The employers, they want better service at lower costs. The costs have gone up. Over 130% increase in health costs by 2025. Which had 50% increase in the last decade. You got the employees and plan members, they want more choices, better technologies, easier to use. Today, the employers need to manage their cost better. This is the second largest expenditure for most employers. We got a mobile demanding workforce. One of the biggest single problems in recruiting right now is your benefit plan. And today, virtual medical care and healthcare pharmacies will play a much larger role in healthcare. So that makes things quite a bit more complicated. If you look at us, we set in the middle. Our solution set in the middle. We tie all these people together. We tie the insurers. All the other healthcare providers, other technology providers, the plan sponsors, being the employers or the government, uh, and the users, being the plan members. 
We said in the middle, all the data except with us. We know all of the data for every employee. And we automate that compete environment. We digitize that compete environment. We have all the expertise to do that. We're ISO 27001 certified, the only one in Canada that's like that. Our solutions are capable of being provided globally, US, Middle East, Africa. These are our target clients, insurers, insurance brokers, large insurance brokers organizations, benefit consultants. We deploy our technology, we enable their business and give them new opportunities to increase their revenue models. These are examples of our clients that use our solutions. Accenture, I think everybody knows who they are, one of the largest consulting firms in the world. They get Microsoft, Apple, all the Apple, Microsoft employees in Canada, we manage all the benefits for them. Walmart, over 100,000 employees in Canada that we manage their benefits for. They can look at Sony, one of the largest retailers in Canada, 35,000 people. Husky Energy, Pratt & Whitney, you, you recognize. RCMP is a recent win. That's a high security account. Our security clearances are at the highest levels to deal with government or, or select uh, corporations. 44,000 people, Starbucks. Okay, and this morning we just want another new client. One of the largest retailers in Canada, 58,000 employees. We haven't announced it yet, but I just got the news like 30 minutes ago. So that was a nice win. The other win that we've got in the last day or two is one of the largest tire manufacturers in the world. We, we've got all of their Canadian employees and they're making a decision on all their U.S. employees. And that'll be another 28,000. Globally, they got about 130,000. And the global is an opportunity. Honda. So you see some of the clients that uh, that use our solutions. And the majority of our business revenue in the uh, in the first quarter, over 60% was clients we've had for more than five years. In unifier markets, everything's white label, everything is cloud. It's recession resistant, growing demand across all of our markets. We have a very active pipeline, over six billion of premium in our pipeline. Six billion of premium is over four hundred million dollars of processing revenue that is falling within our domain six capsules. We break the market down into enterprise, which is we're well positioned in the enterprise market. We probably got 35, 40% of the enterprise market in Canada, at least using one of our solutions. Public, that's government, mostly government, uh, provincial, federal, uh, municipal, grant corporations. The big market opportunity that we see is the emerging market, and that's our right label, our channel partner model. Today, we do about $45 per annum for the 370,000 plan members that we are administering. We got another 160,000 that's coming on street this year, and another 800,000 that will sign. That'll take us about three years. But the combination of, of uh, that 1.3 uh, billion plan members, uh, that generates about 330,000 of revenue. We expect to capture a substantial portion of that. Our target is to reach 100. The average uh, plan sponsors or plan members spend about $250 a person. We think we can reach 100 over the next three to four years. And these are all the solutions that we provide them. We have proven competitive advantages. Our technology solutions, cloud-based, multiple delivery models, multilingual, uh, can be provided in any country, any any area. Proprietary technology. We manage mission critical systems, over 150 of Canada's most sophisticated clients, including government and corporate. Management team, over 300 years of experience. We've been in this industry. Very scalable, over 80% of all new gross margin dollars goes to our bottom line now. We've reached that inflection point for growth. We have a very unique business model. We're the only one in the marketplace that offers our solutions on a white label basis. Every one of the clients that you saw there use our solutions on a white label. If you're a Walmart employee and you go to their benefit uh, environment, it looks like Walmart. That's really us you're talking to, or your Microsoft or Apple. Experience sales and marketing, multi-label. Uh, we've got great uh, win rates, uh, sophisticated RFP teams. Uh, all the security clearances meet mandatory pretty much any bit that will come down the pipe. The big growth area for us is the benefit process. That's really our software exclusive business. That's where our gross margins are over 70% on that side of the business. But that's also tied to our services business. 
Our services business supports all that part. Now the gross margins on that side of the business is 15 to 20 percent, but it's all recurring revenue. And when we went and deploy a white label solution uh, with a large broker, we typically take over their complete IT environment. So that gives us uh, a very solid uh, position. And everything is multi year. As I say, we have contracts on as long as 11 years. You saw a blip in sales of the solutions. That's because we had two one uh, two one time contracts that lasted a couple of years and then we moved on from that. Gross margins continue to grow. Right now, a consolidated gross margin between the two revenue streams, the software and solutions, and the services is about 35%. We expect between now and 2025, we'll reach up around 44, 45% of gross margins on a consolidated basis. Because that will grow fairly quickly as our software and solutions side of our business grows. Right now, we've got over 164 million gross margin in that book of business. So if you look at this, this is an interesting chart. If you look at the plant members we have that we're currently administered, 160,000 coming on stream for the next few months. The rest, another 800,000 will sign this month. That's 1.3. Right now, those plant members spent $332 million approximately in revenue. They we're capturing 17 million of that right now. Of the 92 million, of the 45. If we deploy, when we deploy all of those, assuming we don't increase our revenue beyond the $45 per plan member, we'll still be at 60 million. Our bottom line on that 60 million will be more than our market cap today. We expect to be fully deployed by 2025. If we can reach 100, that 133 million, over 56% of every new revenue dollar goes to our bottom line. So you can do the math. This is the management team and the board of directors. Uh, a lot of independent directors. I'm the only management member on the board. And we have three members uh, from a company called Cooperators. Cooperators is a large Canadian insurance company. Uh, that would have uh, invested 25 million in us in the last year, year and a half. And they see us as a very strategic investment. They're a property and casualty company that want to be much larger in the life of the group business. So they're a strategic partner for us. We have a number of other strategic partners in the short business. Right now we have 177 million shares outstanding, uh, approximately 75 million owned by uh, management board, insiders. Uh, we've got uh, that convertible notes of uh, about 30 million, and uh, most of that's owned by the insurance company. That's basically it. And our solutions are equally uh, applicable in the US marketplace. That 800,000 is a Canadian uh, arm of a large uh, North American broker. Their business is that's two billion of premium in Canada, there's another 12 billion in the States. Plus, we have another four billion on top of that that we're, we're marketing to. So, the opportunity for us is, is, is pretty good right at the moment. Are there any questions? Speak a bit about how sticky the business is. We haven't lost a client since 2019. Part of that, so that's desire, partially, right? And then also, let's say, has the wanted to move there. Voice another system. How difficult would it be to do that? If there was a solution that was on the market. Well, I'll give you, let me answer that a couple of ways. In 2021, we had two of our large global clients go to RFP for government reasons, because large companies have governments in every four or five years they have to go out and bid. They had no bids because our solutions were the met or the minimum. The mandatory. There's no one else had the solution that could supply what they were looking for. So that's one thing. Uh, to transition, uh, we transitioned uh, 100,000 employees of, of one of our client, large clients in five months. And that's from a complete platform. Uh, we lost one client in 2018. Uh, it was a large uh, building supplies company, North American building supplies company. We had the Canadian arm, and then when we went to the Canadian company, we had it bought by a, a US company called Lowe's, the bus. They didn't want to move, but they moved to an insurer 
we're still, that was over a year and a half ago, and that was politics. We didn't, uh, uh, you know, two years ago, 2018, we're still doing work. We still couldn't get off the platform because there's a lot of things that we do that others. We won Starbucks because we're the only ones that could de deal with their, they have mostly a, a part time workforce. It's a very volatile workforce, and, and you have to meet a certain number of hours uh, per uh, uh, a week to actually stay on the benefit plan. And if they don't, they can top it up themselves. And uh, we have the only solution that can automate that. That's why we want Starbucks. You know, we want a whole bunch of other clients. Like that. Right, so, yeah, well, we, we digitize. We, we create a whole digital transformation for your environment. And the insurance companies had this market for years, right? And the data analytics was terrible. The error rate was 15, 20 percent, but there's not nobody could figure it out. But it's the same same all over the U.S. So you know, when I started this company in 2011, I had a company back then that I sold since with 2,000 people. And every year, I got my benefit plan. I thought about it for two second largest expenditure, no data. I spent two hours on it, cursing most of those two hours because everything's gone up. And then I moved on and never dealt with it for a year. Like that's the status of the industry. It's kind of been a black hole for a lot of companies. And that's why we saw the opportunity to change. Any other questions? Uh, recently, the stock's gone from mid 30s, mid 20s, where it is right now. So the market is saying something's wrong or it's misunderstood. You could probably say it's misunderstood. What's this on first? Well, okay, you know, I have a number of investors call me all the time about that. I'm the single largest shareholder. Right? My average price is 33 cents. Right? I, I bought every deal. Right? I, I got millions of dollars in the company. And the what I get back from investors, which is by the way why I hired Silver, because I never had investor relations before. I never used a banker. All the money I raised myself was put in myself. Right? Or, you know, the, the four fools, you know, the French capital fools that invest when you start the company. So that's where we were. So we hired Silver. It's the first time we've used uh, professional best relations. Uh, I would say, I think that this is as simple. I don't think I've done a good job selling it. As, as you know, people don't understand it quite the way it is. But if you sum it up, we're a back office shop, right? When you, when you put all your employee benefits, programs on our back office is very hard to go because we have better solutions, better analytics, uh, you know, we, we reduce your costs, but it's not always easy to understand. Right? So I'd say I'm at fault for that. Hopefully, uh, John and his team will help here. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for anyway. They've only been engaged for a month, but I've, uh, I'm hoping that makes a difference. Okay, so it's just misunderstood. Well, I haven't done a good job selling. Right? That's why it's misunderstood. You know, hopefully, with a little bit of help, uh, we can do a better job. There were winning clients. I mean, if, if you look at it, in 2017, uh, I had, uh, in March 2017, I had about 3,000 land members. In April, I got another 265,000. Today, I got 530 plus another 800,000 all signed soon. This will make us the fourth largest administrator of benefits in Canada, behind the three largest insurance companies, which are Canada Life, Manual Life, and Tunnel Life. Okay. And with the other ones that will win this year, there will be it's taking time. And this industry, you know, when I started this company in 2011, this is five years, well, oh, 11 years now, right? <laughs> Everything takes longer than you think. So I, uh, but I think we're at that inflection point now. We've crossed that bridge. You know, I, the CapEx is largely gone. That 60 odd million that I spent is mostly, uh, uh, it's all been expensed for the most part. And uh, so we're at that inflection point now where every new dollar of revenue is 56% goes to our bottom line on the solution side of the business. Twenty-five cents, and we have the right to take some of that out. Any other questions?
Do I need to have five minutes? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you know, we, we have, if we need money, we can get it from our inside group. Right? I, uh, uh, we can, you know, we grow, you know, I can always improve my balance sheet. But I'm not in the market right now. So I, if I need to raise money, I'll get it from inside. Inside. Any other questions? Well, thank you very much.